Hey, welcome to 159 Videos. Today we have an 03 Honda Civic and we have a problem with the overheating condition. So what has happened is, around town, it was working just fine. Get up on the interstate and next thing you know, it was not working fine. Touched the upper radiator hose and it was scalding hot. Can't hardly touch it. I touched the bottom radiator hose and I could actually hold it. So that's show, telling me that it's not flowing through. Um, so one of the things is the thermostat is down here and that would let the hot liquids up top up here flow through the radiator and then come back up. So what we're going to do is the other thing too is when it was overheating like that I could turn the heat on in the car because on the Hondas the heat is pretty much flowing through the head so when I was actually doing a few RPMs it had enough flow through the head to come through the radiate, um, the heater fan in the car blew out some superheated uh, you know air and the car didn't bubble over didn't get hot so we're gonna go ahead and pull the thermostat off real quick it's just two 10 millimeter bolts pretty easy to get to so we're gonna go ahead and get this knocked out we're gonna go get a new one so it's real easy to do anyone can do it make sure you put a catch can down below so you can catch your uh, coolant you can also uh, some of them that got the pickaxe on other cars you can drain it down a little bit so once you get this guy loose. It says it's pretty easy to do. You just slide it back, pull the uh, thermostat out. And go pick up another 170 degree thermostat and get this thing knocked out. All you gotta do is slide it over just a little bit. Reach up in here, grab it. Now these are O-ring style thermostats right here. So you just take that off, change it out. Now this one was replaced not too long ago, but it was not working right. So we're gonna go ahead and get a new one and replace it. So stay tuned. All right, picked up the new thermostat right here. And first thing you wanna do is go ahead and put it back on the little O-ring. Pretty much just clips right into place. And once that's done like that, just pretty much goes back up into the head just like this. And then put your 10 millimeter bolts back in. Slide this down. Up in the hole. Now you go to put the uh, housing back on and you notice there's a gap that means it's not into place. So don't force it, don't tighten it down. You'll break the ears off your thermostat. So exactly where it's supposed to be so get these all tightened up so remember the little uh, bracket goes on this bottom right side over here and before you uh, totally tighten it make sure that it's pretty much where it's got to be so you don't have a part of the gasket hanging out so, and you should be able to pretty much hand tighten it and it should become flush by hand what you do just go ahead and tighten down we're going to top off the system and then bleed it these don't have to be gorilla tight all you got to do is just snug them up only 10 millimeter bolts Right, that's done. Let's top off the system. All right, we've topped off the system. We're going to go ahead and start it up. We're also going to use my laser thermometer and we're going to go ahead and get some baseline readings on it. And uh, it's 100 degrees right here out in the hot sun for the summer. But we're going to go ahead and fire it up. We're going to get it to run through. We're going to bleed it down. Um, right now, we just want to get some baseline readings because last night this was scalding hot. The bottom one I could touch. 
So let's go ahead and get this thing and uh, show you what a thermostat replacement and how to check and make sure everything's going good and it's not that uh, your radiator that's clogged. Okay, if you have one of these, it's a great way to tell if you're getting flow in the system. Go ahead and get a baseline reading. This one's 106 up here, and they get a baseline reading on down below. And it is 88 degrees. So once you get some head, you'll know when it uh, opens up. There's 96 right here. 152 right there. Now the thermostat opens at 170. We got about 40 degrees to go, and then we'll see if it starts flowing through the radiator. All right, now it's running a little bit. Let's see what we got. Right on top, we got 179, and on the bottom, we got 147. So she's actually flowing through right now. Um, thermostat's opened up. 54 on the heater hose. 56 right there. 179. 186 at the head. 162 down there. I'll just double check. 166. So that right there shows me it's actually flowing right now. Next thing you'll hear is the fan kick on. Now that would have stayed at a low, low number. Then that would have meant there was no flow going through. Anyways, hope that helps you guys. Love 59 videos. Out.